To run a half marathon like the Craft Half in Winston-Salem takes a lot of heart. It'd be tough for any of us, especially this man from Winston-Salem who just had a heart transplant. But he did it. WY News 2's Laura Brache brings us the moment of inspiration we all need to start our week. January 27th, 2015. Another day, another landscaping project for 56-year-old Sherman Transu. This time, though, something wasn't right. I can't breathe. I don't know what's wrong, what's going on. Transu went home to rest, hoping to pick up where he left off the next morning. Except that's not what happened. I called the doctor, 4 o'clock, his office, 4.30, in an ambulance heading to the hospital. He was transferred to our hospital in what we call cardiogenic shock. His heart was pumping only 10% of his body's blood and it immediately became a matter of life and death. Major decisions had to be made. I had to do my will, had to do my rights to survival. I had to get uh, people, my brother, to sign up to be my POA. You know, getting everything in place, like, instantly. He knew he was running out of time. Doctors implanted a left ventricular assist device, or LVAT. But what he really needed, a heart transplant. May not be here any longer. That's what this means, if I don't get a heart. It took two years, but he got the call. I answered the phone. I said, is this Sherman? Yes, this is Sherman. Congratulations. We have your heart. That phone call saved his life, but also reminded him he needed to change his ways. It led up to the point that I had said, you know what, if I can get up out of this bed, and I can start my journey again, I'm going to set out to accomplish something. And then I'm going to set my goal to run a marathon. He started by going on short walks, then full workout sessions. But in Transu's mind, there had to be more. To run a marathon. I can see the finish line, but it's going to happen. And it did. This time, 24 months after his heart transplant, he ran the race of his life. We're going to start right here at Foothill Brewery. Once you get to this point, then we're going to turn around and we're going to come back and end back up here at Foothill Brewery. It's a terrible one to run, too. Oh, really? Oh, what a <laughs> well, worst ever. But that didn't stop him. <laughs> Off he went, hill after hill, pushing as hard as his new heart allowed him. Three hours, 45 minutes, and 52 seconds later, Sherman Transu made it to his finish line. There were times that I wanted to quit. But he didn't. The hills were tough, but it was no tougher than the days that I was in the hospital having to deal with the mental anguish that I was going through. It was just unreal. To be in a state of mind of no hope, and now there's hope. It is uh, nothing like it. From writing his own obituary to running a half marathon, this man has never felt more alive. Mr. Transu says he's most grateful for his heart donor, knowing she had to lose her life in order for him to still be here. And he and his donor's family recently got in touch for the first time, and we hope to be bringing you their touching reunion very soon.